Hello everyone, welcome to Alina's Fashion. It's nice to have you back again. So today we're going to be talking about this beautiful gown. Okay, very beautiful guys can see. I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this beautiful free gown. It's also shapey. I shaped it at the waist, but it's free. Any size is a plus size, it's for slim or fat people. So watch how to as I sew and as I cut this beautiful gown. So this is what I'll be doing. I'll be taking the shoulder divide by two. I'll divide the shoulder by two it gives me nine inches. So I'll still measure that nine inches down for the armhole after coming down by one inch for the shoulder slant. So I just mark it like this and then I'm going to roll the line. This is for the shoulder slant. I came down by one inch. Okay. So this is it. I've taken the so the next measurement is shoulder to the bust line. Okay. I'll measure shoulder to the bust line plus 5 inch um, 0 0.5 inch sorry 0 0.5 inch okay so this is it I've marked it here I'll mark it here okay this is my shoulder to the bust line I'm going to be writing B to indicate the bust line this horizontal line is for the bust okay so the next one will be the shoulder to the under bust so we are going to be taking the other major mate. The next one will be shoulder to the under bust. So I take it like this, mark it for so 0.5 inch. You mark it, then the other one will be shoulder to the hip plus so 0.5 inch. You just take your measurement and impute it. So just mark out the line like this, okay? Just mark it out. This is the waist, shoulder to waist. This is shoulder to on the bust line. Okay. Then the next line will be the shoulder to the hip line. So just draw the horizontal line like this. Okay. We have horizontal line for the bust, horizontal line for the on the bust, horizontal line for the waist, horizontal line for the hip. So here is it. Just make sure the line is is evident enough for you to see. Here we go. Ruling the line. So this is it. This is it. Okay. So this shoulder to the hip line. Okay. Then the next will be the shoulder to the knee. And at this knee. I don't take I didn't take the actual new I came up by two inches so you you just come up by two inches from the actual new measurement okay because we just want something shapey so from the beginning as you can see the this line the chest line bust line on the bust waist hip and the uh, fine new then the full length of your gown. I use the full length of 58 inches. Okay, so this is it. This is now we're going to be inputting the nipple to nipple. I have 4.5 inch inches for the nipple to nipple. How to get it? I've shown you in my previous video. You just divide your nipple to nipple by two okay and you add 0 0.5 so my nipple to nipple is 8 inches i divided it by 2 it gives, gives me 4 inches so i'm adding 0 0.5 inch so that it be 4.5 inches okay so but on the hip line i'm not going to be marking that 4.5 inches because this gown i just wanted to have this opening to accommodate the tummy is not for only slim people so i'm opening it by by 0 0.5 inch so i'm adding 0 
to 4.5 inches so that it be giving me 5 inches okay so now i'm going to be rolling the line from the first point down to this hip this mark so we'll roll it like this what do we do with this line we're using this line to take our that okay unlike the other videos if you don't watch my bustier video go and watch my bustier video this video is not a bustier but i'm just going to be taking a simple dart here in my previous video i showed us how to take a princess bustier okay so here we go this is how it is so from the waist now we'll start taking the dart from the waist okay so this is it i'm going to be using one inch for the dart so it will be 0 0.5 inch at this side and at the center front of the gown so here it is i've marked it 0 0.5 inch each side okay so this point we're not going to be touching it okay i'm coming down by 0 0.5 from the bust line okay this is the under bust but on the bust now i'm coming down by 0 0.5 inch or oh, that's not going to touch the bust line i've said this in my previous videos so don't let your dad touch the bust line okay so i'm going to be taking it like this to this point if you want to see the video for the princess bust here yeah, please is in the link down below look for the video if you want to see the video for my pink um cushion pink cushion the one i'm using right now in this video that i'm using to hold my pins you can check also in the previous videos okay so this is me taking the dart <coughs> okay so you just draw the dart like this let the tip be pointy okay then you draw it down to the waist okay from this waist also you draw it to three inches above the hip i didn't take the dart to the hip i took it three inches above the hip okay so this is it i'm taking the dart up the, up from the waist okay i'm just drawing it down here like this so after taking it like this i will also draw the other parts you can use your free hand you can use your ruler all you need to do is just to take something that's oh so here we go we just take the dart like this take the dart like this take the dart like this consciousness continually as and consciousness continually as a band. <laughs> so I'm taking the dart from that point to point to this point. Okay, I'm going to be drawing it down to this hip point point. So just draw it down like this. Make sure you draw the dart very well because that is the major shape, the only shape that we have for this guy. Okay. Okay, so here we go. So this is the the hip line so i'm making it h so now i'm going to be imputing the data for the front bodies now um, i would like to tell you something imputing data for the front bodies okay i came up with an idea i'm not putting all the data for the hip and also other parts like the bust so this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be imputing and be minusing some from the input. Okay, so this is the chest line. Okay, I'm marking the chest line. Okay, the bust measurement divided by four plus one inch instead of three inches. That's what I did for this form, but this 
Okay, this is the underboss divided by 4 plus 1 inch. Okay, this is what I got here. And I'm going to be adding the dart that I remove. Okay, so that it won't have any, any shortage. So this is what we do. The waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch. That's what I'm taking for the front body. Smack me. For the front bodies, not the back and front, only the front bodies, okay? So, this is it. I'm marking my waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch plus this, that. Okay, so everything we come to the edge of the fabric, okay? So, basically, the front part is going to be... The front part is going to be smaller than the back, okay? Because the back house... So, the measurement for the back is a little bit bigger than the front because of the volume that the back has. For the front bodies, I took out one inch from the hip. Okay, this is to give it a beautiful shape. And I'm going to be adding that one inch at the back body. So from this point, I'm taking one inch from the hip. Okay, so... Subsequently, I'll be showing us how I'll augment it to the measurement at the back. So here we are. We just keep on um, imputing the data. So for the new length, I'm coming in by 2 inches, like I said. Basically, this is what we have for the shape, okay? This is what we have, okay? So here we go. This is Alina's fashion. Please subscribe to my channel if you're just seeing my channel. Or if you know that you have not subscribed to Alina's fashion, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Leave your comments. Anything you want me to tell you, just leave it there. Okay, so... I'm just going to be connecting the points like this. Just connect the points like this and then you cut it out. And you cut the lining the same way you measure this one. You're going to be cutting the lining like this also. So as you can see, the underbust is the... And the waist... And then the bust, as you can see, gives out the shape already. So this I'm covering it out like this, okay? And then if you come to the new part, you see that it curves inside also. This is giving the front the, the kind of shape that we want, okay? So this gown is a very beautiful gown, okay? As you will see from there video so this is it i'm marking the chest line i make sure that the nine inch inches correspond to the one i have at the top so i'm going to be ruling my armhole just draw the straight line from this one inch we slanted draw this uh, a straight line to this other line that we've drawn okay Remember, after taking 9 inches like this, I took another one horizontally to make sure that they are same. So I'm drawing this straight line to serve as the armhole. Okay, this is the front body's armhole. But in this front body, we are coming in by, we are coming in by 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so we'll find the center of this 9 inch Okay, and this 9 inches, we divide it by 2 and come in by 0 0.5. Okay, so the center is uh, this point. Now, dividing it by 2, I have this point. So I'm coming in by 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so I'm now going to be curving the armhole like so. Like so. Down to this first point. Okay. 
So if you not watch my previous video, uh, let's say it. Go and look for Alina's fashions video. They are, they are beautiful and unique. You will not see video, uh, pictures of what I've not done. Everything you're seeing is what I've done. And uh, I don't use any other person's picture. I use my picture and I make sure I give you what you see. Some other persons may put another picture, you'll be thinking, ah, let me see this guy. But when you open it, you see that it's not really what you want. So Helena's fashion is giving you what you see on the page. So check for any other videos and watch. Like my channel, please. Subscribe to Helena's fashion. As you're liking it, it will make YouTube to show my video more. So here we go. This is how beautiful the front body is. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. So now the next step is to be cutting the back bodies. So to cut the back bodies, just position the front bodies on top of the back bodies. So this is my back bodies. This is the front. I'm positioning it on the back bodies like so. Make sure it's well arranged. And then this is the hip that we took one inch from. So I'm going to be adding that one inch already because I really know that this is the style that emphasizes more on the hip. <laughs> so I'm adding the one inch, okay? Then I'll start inviting the other measurements that we took out from the beginning. I told you we're adding one inch instead of two or three inches. So I'm going to be adding them back. So here we go. This is the back bodies. Okay. I've placed the front bodies on the back bodies. So we're going to be cutting the back part of the gown. So like I said, from the measurement, you now take um first divided by four plus three inches. Now for the back. For the front, we used one inch. Okay, so now for the back, you measure off the boss divided by four plus three inches. So you then you come to the under boss, you see the under boss divide by four plus three inches. Then you mark also. Same thing you do for the rest. Okay. So this, my pink cushion is really helping me. Like I said, while making the video, if you've not watched how to make the video of this pink cushion, go and check it out. It's there to help you save your pin and make you work faster. Okay, it's, so here we go. I'm just basically going to be adding um, hip divided by four plus three inches marking it here on the hip line then i'm also going to be coming in whatever i have on the hip line be coming in by two inches in the nail on the horizontal line of the nail okay so i'm joining the points like this okay so you just join it Lena's fashion is joining it okay So see the beauty, see all the points I added for the back. This is the front, this is the back, okay? This is the back, this is the back, okay? Okay, then for this side, like I said, I'm not coming down like that, I'm just coming in on the new points, I'm coming in on the back inches. Whatever I have for the for the back inches and back body, sorry, I'm coming in by two inches on the new line. Okay, like I said earlier, this new line I took it two inches above the actual new major metal. You don't go and make the mistake to be doing all this on your new point. No, I came up by two inches. Let me spill the secret. <laughs> So here it is, here we are. This is how shapey it is. 
so I've shaped it like this to the nail. I'm going to be bringing it down like this. You know, the gown is free now, but it's kind of shapey, but it's still fresher. So, yeah, it is. We just cut the same for the lining also. Whatever we do for the main fabric, we do the same for the lining. Then, for the armhole of the back bodies, this is how it is. It's going to be coming out by 0 0.5, unlike the front bodies that it came in by 0 0.5. For the back bodies, it's going to be going out by 0 0.5 inch. Okay, so I'm going to be drawing the armhole for the back like this. You can cite the difference from the front bodies. I'm going to be covering the armhole like this to the post point. Okay, so it's different. So this is how it is. This is how the back bodies um, who will look like if you look closely you see the front bodies okay so this is the back bodies and the front bodies of the gown beautiful gown so for the neck now i'm going to be doing a candle neck a very beautiful candle neck so i'll be taking 3.5 inches at the width and then 3.5 inches at the depth of the neckline meanwhile i'm not using the full 3.5 i'm just marking it like so so that i'll be able to take the canoe neck very effectively so you just measure 3.5 inches then you take your remaining shoulder shoulder measurements whatever is remaining there you divide it by two so the remaining of my uh, in shoulder measurements i've divided by three and uh, two gives me 3.5 inches so i'm going to be curving from this 3.5 inches down to this point okay to get a perfect canoe neck i as i'm looking at it the 3.5 is too deep so i'm going to be coming up by 2.5 inches instead of 3.5 inches so i'll be covering it up like this i'm not using the all 3.5 inches like this i'm not coming down like that. i'm going up instead so i'll be measuring 2.5 inches for the depth of the neck okay so this is it i'm marking it so i'm going to be covering the line from this shoulder that i divided into two i'm covering it like this i hope it's clear i hope you understand what i'm saying okay so just cover it like this you get a okay, new neck <laughs> Oh, your boot neck. I've made a video for. Uh, I've only made a video. No, but I made a video for Bishop Collar, not Kenu neck. So, this is the first video I'm putting out for Kenu neck. But I've actually made a Kenu neck before, but I didn't use it as a video. So, this is it. This is it to take the dart for the back body. So, this is simply what we do pick a pin from your pin cushion and pin down on the dart. On the front bodies that will place on the back bodies, okay. Flip it over like this, then boah, you mark it, you mark where you place the pin. So, as you can see, have you seen my pin? Look at the pin, so just mark it with your check or your marker. The same thing, you come to the waist, you place a pin there, you flip it over. Okay, this is to make sure that we have an accurate dart position. You know, the dart position is uh, on the nipple to nipple line. Okay, so, so yeah, we go for the last one. I'm not going to be putting the pin on the bust, um, particular place where we take took the dart line for the front. I'm moving it up by one inch for the back dart. <laughs> Move up by one inch for the back. That's on a serious note. I'm not laughing. So I'm placing the pin here. And I'm going to be flipping it over again. I'm marking it. Okay. You just mark the pin where the pin is. And then when you make sure you mark it very well. This is the pin. I'm marking it. Okay. Why am I doing this? So that I'll get a straight line for the that, for the back bodies. Okay. This is the back this. So I have three points now, the top, the waist, and then uh, three inches before the hip. So I'm using my ruler now, just through the line like this. Okay, the line is not straight. Why? Because we took 
uh, 5 inches on the hip line instead of 4.5 inches like we took for the uh, waist and the uh, bust. Okay, so I just draw the line like so. And then from this point, that is the waist point, the waist point, I'm going to be taking half inch both sides, half inch at the center front and half inch at the side to give me one inch that. So I'm going to be ruling out this and voila. After this, cut your lining also. After I cut your lining, you attach the lining to the kano neck. I've done so. This is the line. I'm not using that for the lining. I just make it plain like this. Beautiful. When you attach, when you sew the neckline to the lining, you flip it over, you notch it, and then you you top stitch it on the lining like so so that you have a neat finishing okay so this is the main gown i've sewn the side and i've sewn the darts so as you can see it's looking beautiful so what you do for the lining as you've done for this main fabric you sew the side of the lining also after sewing the side of the lining you have already attached to the neckline you sew to the side you sew the side and then after sewing the side, you sew the hem. Make sure the lining is 1.5 inch, inches shorter than the main fabric. So this is me pinning it down to the hem. I've pinned the lining to the hem like so. I'm going to be sewing it now like this. I'll sew it. This lining is 1.5 inches shorter than the main fabric. When I sew it, it appears very neat pink cushion get a video on how to make this pink cushion so yeah it is beautiful gown oh my gosh oh like this uh little strap you seen at the front i took i measured 3.5 inches from the armhole and then i inserted the strap there i tied the strap to the back and then i bring it again to the front so this is very beautiful you can take you the length of your rope or strap at any length mine is 28 i use the remaining strap for the sleeve as a bias thank you for watching alina's fashion i love you